This is John from Remotify.io and today I want to talk about a MIDI remote script that we have available on the website. The script is purpose-built for this controller. This is the Hercules P32 DJ. And the reason why it's such an interesting script is because as well as having um, access to the drum rack where you can play in patterns on the right hand side, um, as well as your instruments, finger drumming style, nothing new there, but on the left hand side, you can you have clip control, so you can create clips at the same time as play them in, um, as well as other DJ controls across here. But this really is something new, which I don't think is available on any other controller. Um, so let's get stuck in and see what's available on it. To create and launch clips in your session, first make sure that you've selected hot cue for the left set of 16 pads. The left sync button turns the metronome on and off. Use the left set of 16 pads to create and activate a new clip inside Ableton Live. And then play in the notes with the right set of 16 pads. My timing was a little off on that first take, so I'm going to use the undo and redo buttons, which are load A and load B on the controller, to undo my last changes and record in a new clip. Yeah, that sounds a little more on time. So I'm now going to create a second clip with an alternative drum pattern. The top left encoder controls the tempo in Ableton Live and you can adjust it in increments of 1 by default. And if you hold down the left shift button you can adjust the tempo in finer increments of 0.10. The display is limited to only show two values at any time. So due to this, for BPM ranges that are 100 to 199 BPM, you will see a dot in between the two values. And for BPM ranges above 200 BPM, you will see a dot to the right. Another big feature of the script is the session box functionality. With it, you get access to four tracks at the same time. The four buttons above the left set of 16 pads are for track select of the four tracks inside of the session box. The left Q and play button are for session box navigation, giving you access to all of the tracks in your project in groups of four. You can also move the session box up and down by holding the left shift button. Here's how quick and easy it is to add more tracks to your project using this four track workflow. The right sync button activates clip detail view. The loop size display on the top right shows you the loop size of the currently selected clip. And turning the top right size adjust encoder doubles and halves the size of your loop. The central slip button activates overdub. You can select devices 1 to 4 on the currently selected track using the 4 buttons above the right set of 16 pads. You know, I, I, 
When the right shift button is held, you can move left and right through your devices using the first two buttons. Pressing the right filter encoder turns the currently selected device on and off. The four knobs above the right set of 16 pads control the first four parameters on the currently selected device. When shift is held, they control the second four parameters on the selected device. The four knobs above the left set of 16 pads control the track volume for the four tracks inside your session box. Activating loop for the left set of 16 pads gives you access to more session box controls. The top four pads are now mutes for the four tracks. The second row is for soloing a track. The third row is for assigning your tracks to the A and B positions of your crossfader. A blue LED represents the A position and a purple LED represents the B position. The middle section of the controller is mainly used for selected track control inside Ableton Live. The central browsing coder is for selected track navigation. The four high and mid knobs control the first four sends on the selected track. The left low knob controls pan. The left headphone button activates solo for the selected track. The left fader controls volume for the selected track. And the right fader controls volume for the master track. The central record button activates arrangement record 